this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Minecraft Story Mode. We are continuing here on episode number seven. Uh, this is part number, I think, 32 of the, the series as a, as a whole. So we've done a lot of Minecraft Story Mode, haven't we? <laughs> it doesn't feel like it because it's always in like little bite-sized chunks and, you know, the episodes are, are spread out. It doesn't feel like we've been playing for a really long game, but I guess if we put them all together, it would actually be a pretty enormous game. Anyway, let's talk about what we're doing. So we're inside of Harper's Lab. Uh, you really want to watch the, the last couple episodes if you haven't, just to find out exactly what's going on. And uh, let's go and speak to, to Ivor and Petra a little bit, because we haven't really uh, chatted to, to them much, have we, down here? So what do you think of Harper's Lab? I'm highly impressed. Although that painting does make me sad. Look how happy they used to look together. I think that Ivor might have a little bit of a... A little bit of a soft spot for Harper. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't know, what do you reckon? Do you reckon, do you reckon Ivor was in love? Is it love at first sight? That'd be an unlikely pairing, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think Ivor with anyone else would be an unlikely, uh, unlikely pairing, to be fair. Thanks for saving me back there, Jesse. I know with both me and Lucas chipped, it can't have been an easy decision. I don't know what I would have done in your position. We're still going to save Lucas. Don't you worry about that. I'll try not to. It's probably not a good time to mention that the only reason I saved her is because I thought she was closer to the water. <laughs> but no, I mean, I, I like her, you know, and she, she's good, but it, it's just it's just a decision you don't want to make. You know, imagine if that was two of your best friends and you had to pick one. You just can't do it. Like, it's not a decision that anyone should have to make. So, uh, yeah, I try to, to just try and ignore the fact that it's them and just do what seemed most logical. Anyway, uh, we got a headset. So this should allow us to be able to talk to, to Harper, I'm guessing. Is that what it's for? Or is it like some sort of virtual reality thing? Whoa, this is cool. I want them to add this to Minecraft, whatever that is. Make the headset. It's weird seeing like quite futuristic sci-fi type things because there's not really anything like that in normal Minecraft. What's going on, Jesse? Is it working? I'm starting to see something. I think this is like virtual reality. What are you seeing? Is Palmer there? I'm not in the lab. I'm outside. What? This is how Palmer must control it's them. Giant Mesa from the looks of it. It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So Finally, I got dancing zombies. I wanted that since episode one. <laughs> Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. Harper would have to explain the specifics, but I think... It's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. It really is a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. Don't forget about Lucas, too. I need to try to save both of them. That's a great plan. I just hope they're not too far from your current location. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to be able to control this zombie. So it looks like we're basically... I seem to remember there being a stairway here, though. Yeah, it looks like we're basically hacking in to, to anything that Palmer's controlling. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so it looks like we're, we're controlling the zombie. So the big question is... Will Palmer realize that these aren't one of hers? I guess she'll realize that she can't control it. This is cool, though. Let's have a little bit of a look around. Let's talk to one of my fellow zombies. Or grunted it, I guess. Um, Hello there. Yeah, not, not the chattiest type. <laughs> I bet even normal zombies aren't that chatty. Uh, oh, there is sand. So they were saying about piling up, but then they said about we wouldn't be able to get back down. But you can just break your way down if you can pile up. Uh, there is a crafting table, though, so we are going to have to make something. So what else? Oh, so there's hardened clay. There's sand. Zombie. Crafting table. Do you think I'm supposed to make sandstone with the sand, maybe? I can't think what I'll have to make with the clay. Most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. Okay, can I, can I dig it up? 
Where's the sun? Yeah, there we go. I can go and just dig it up. It's weird seeing a zombie move around like this. Like, just moving normally. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go and cover oh, up I don't like sand. a whole Stuff load of sand. Everywhere. Okay, so I guess I need to try and make sure I blend in. Digging a giant pit with the sand probably didn't help. Whoa, look how many stacks I got. <laughs> right, do you reckon I got to... Oh, I can make sandstone stairs, can't I? That's what I reckon I got to make. Huh, let's see what I can craft. So let's go make it into... Uh, let's go make it into to, to, to sandstone first. Can I grab, like, all of it? I seem to only be able to grab, like, one block at a time. I guess if I just do some, then it should end up making loads. So that should make a sandstone block. There we go. And is it Sweet! Enough of these, and I can build my way up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down too. They're not gonna have to make me do every single one, are they? Right, let's go. <laughs> Crazy one, the zombies are coming up behind me. Uh, aren't I gonna make them into stairs? Sorry. Looks like I only needed the, the sandstone blocks. I guess we can just make a pathway and just go and uh, jump up that way anyway. All right then, let's go and <laughs> build a giant staircase up to, to here. And let's go and see uh, if we can go and get Harper and uh, and Lucas. So remember, the only way to, to get the, the thingy off, them, uh, off their head is to make them fall in water. But of course, because I'm controlling a zombie with the, the thing on his head, I can't fall in water either. Trace of routine initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Oh, Palmer knows. Palmer definitely knows. Palmer? Palmer? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Chesty? This is a rather silly thing to do. Don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay! Let Harper and Lucas go, Palmer. But, Chesty, I am so happy to have them. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go! We're all a bunch of happy mobs, right? Let My go! My team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. Yeah. This isn't good. This isn't good. Can I escape? Invalid. Oh, what was that? Oh, migrate! Oh! Okay, so I can just switch who I control. That is cool. I wish I switched to the one with the bow and arrow. <laughs> look at it just <laughs> running so awesome. along. And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud. Palma's still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Right, looks like I need to avoid. So let's just go and mi let's migrate to this guy. Because he's like at the, the back of the, the group. That I can just go and keep sneaking fast. This is really cool. I just basically keep switching who I'm controlling uh, while I get them distracted. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Oh Harper. no, Harper. Harper? Right, we need to get to her and save her before uh, before the, the thing is put on the, the back of her head. I think that's the, the first guy that we saw. So I wonder if they get changed, if they have the thing put on the back of their head, will I be able to control them? Like, I might be able to, like, control Lucas or something. Let's try and blend in and just act like the other zombies. Hopefully they don't notice the big blue light on the back of my head. And make everything useful. Okay, I think I'm Interference there. Interference remains. And no sign of Lucas. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination <laughs> sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance is not useful. Trace subroutine running. Over. I'm just getting started. Oh no. Time to move. Okay, uh, migrate. Anyone that's valid, let's just keep moving. Right in the middle of a giant crowd. So where's Lucas? Do you reckon Lucas has already had one of the things put on the back of his head? Because I can't see him anywhere around it. I reckon he might show up. Right, let's go migrate. I can migrate to one of the ones with the bow and arrow. Oh, don't drop it. No, don't drop the bow and arrow. We could have used the bow and arrow. Right, well, let's migrate to, to this one. Okay, there we go. So hopefully we can get Harper to to escape and she'll be able to, to run away. So if you want to know what's inside my head... Never fear, not... Jesse's here. <laughs> Never fear, Jesse's here. And I'm going to rescue you. Did you find her? 
I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace number team running. Do a little dance, jump up and down, flail arms. Let's do a little dance, why not? <laughs> I bet everyone chooses that option. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. Okay, let's get rid of the other zombie, then let's get back out of here. We need Harper. Without Harper, no one's going to be able to build a portal and we're going to be stuck in this world forever. Running. Quick, follow me. I was going to say I that. <laughs> so I guess that she can't hear me. So obviously when I'm speaking, we can hear, but all she hears is a, a zombie, I guess. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them. Hmm, all right, where are we? You cannot play hide and go? seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game, and I am too strong. There, that door leads to Palma Central Core. Okay, looks like we're not trying to get back to the central base. We're trying to get to, to Palma. See if we can take her down once and for all. Ooh, Jesse, but, am I choosing who to take over? Our only hope. Oh. Harper. You must remove the redstone heart. Remove the redstone heart. Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone. I'm so tired of being dragged away while trying to explain things. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I promise. Interference located. Drone identified. No good, no good. Quick, take over someone else. Quick, change, switch. Why would it let me switch? I can't switch to anyone. Oh no, I think they said that. They'll be able to track down where we are. Right, let's get this headset off our head because, I mean, it helped us. We saved Harper for a bit, but really, we're kind of back to square one. So we need to destroy the redstone heart. And Palma? Yeah, Palma caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. But what happened to Harper? I, I think, I think she's already been chipped can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. Harper believes in us and we're her last hope. We're everyone's last hope to stop Palma. Harper wouldn't put her trust in us unless she knew what we were capable of. Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Whoa. That just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before, there are three of them. Redstone spires. And, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's, that's all I've got. Sorry. No, that's perfect. Thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires? Or whatever we're looking for? Water? So, three spires? Three buckets of water? I think we can see where this is going. And then destroy the redstone heart? I'm pretty sure four blocks of TNT might be the uh, <laughs> the, the right thing for the, the, the job. I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Palma stuff tends to not react well to water. All right, let's go and uh, scoop up all of this uh, this water. So we need to go and track down the three spires so we can get to the heart. Three buckets, one each, three spires. No problem. Let's go wreck the heck out of Palma. Lead the way, Jesse. Okay, so let's go back into the fray. So while all of this has been going on, there hasn't been very much mention of Lucas. <laughs> Everyone seems to care more about Harper, who they just met, than Lucas. I wonder if he's still inside, because they must have taken Petra inside that area for her to have seen the spires. So maybe that's where Lucas is as well. Everything's just so creepy, the way they're being controlled like that. On the other side of all these moms. There are so many of them. You guys have anything useful? Hmm, all right, what do we have here? So we got some, there's a poison and is that a swiftness potion? Bit of redstone, a torch, the TNT that I have, a button. Okay, looks like we can make an explosion. And then there's the flower. Let's use the, uh, let's use the potions. I think that's gonna be the most useful thing, isn't it? These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. 
A potion of swiftness. And a potion of leaping. Oh, leaping, not poison, it's leaping. Okay, so we got them. TNT is going to be very useful. When is TNT not useful? Right, so it looks like we're picking what we want to take. So what else? So I, we need something to set off the TNT as well. So I guess a button will be will be fine for that. Cool. Buttons can activate TNT, but I still need some way to connect them together. We well, could just put the button next to it, but I guess that a little bit of redstone should do the trick nicely. We've got TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom! Path cleared. That's great and all, but how are you going to lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse. Quickly now! Um... The possibilities... I'm going to go for leaping, just because I think it's going to look well, funnier than running around quickly. <laughs> I'm going to go for the potion of leaping. All right, all right. Don't jump all over me. Wow, I huh. With this, I don't even need the redstone or buttons. I can just drop the TNT on them from the sky. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you. Potion, do your stuff. Okay, so I thought we were going to use the TNT to blow up the heart. But I guess we're just going to use it to, to get in there, just to, to break our way through all of these areas here. So am I just going to, like, jump around and just, like, throw the TNT down? So we need something to light the TNT as well. Ah, this is cool. Right, throw, throw, throw. Oh, no, I missed. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> now, that's something that I wish I could do in the game. Like, I keep just seeing stuff in story mode, and I'm like, oh, I wish that was in real Minecraft. Maybe not these brain control devices, though. <laughs> Imagine that, you're playing Minecraft and suddenly, like, someone else is just controlling you all over the place. And, oh, drop down them and the creepers as well. Oh, did I get them? I think, did I get the creepers? Yeah, I just about got the, the creepers as well. So that's uh, most of those guys dealt with. But there's so many of them. Like, I've only got four pieces of TNT. And, like, this is my last one now. This isn't going to be enough to take them all out, though, is it? They are conveniently grouping very close together, which is making things easier. Okay, so there we go. Maybe that's them all taken out. But it looks like we woke someone up. My forces will protect the exit portal. Oh no. My friends have almost finished building our new exit portal. And then I will make all other worlds useful. Yay! You we cannot defeat me. It. Your defiance is not useful. If it can get into other worlds, it's just gonna take over everything. Uh, who's that? So Petra and Ivor, uh, let's talk about Palmer. She's the threat. Oh, I think Palmer might be onto us. Wonder if those explosions had anything to do with it. Ooh, nice. The townspeople are already building the exit portal. We've got to shut down Palmer before it can send its ship forces through it. I will find you, Chesky. I have lots of friends. They, they all just walk in the exact same way in like perfect unison. I really hate that. Anyway, it looks like we found our way to the uh, the, the tunnel. We just need to try and make our way inside. Are they going to try and hold everyone off then? Because remember, these guys are tough. These aren't normal googlies. These are like super powered ones. So it's not going to be as easy as possible. Why don't we just all run in? Save Lucas. Like the best weapon against them is the water, really. Just using the, the buckets. Can we not just break that redstone there? Where have I gone? <laughs> it's been like a really long time just showing that redstone there. I was like, what's happening? Okay. Looks like we've made our way inside of Palmer. I know a little bit about redstone, but I have no idea what's going on here. So is that the redstone heart? I think, yeah, it's like beating. Can you see that? There's like a, a different redstone block at the top. So that's going to be the heart. So I think we're, uh, is this us behind Palmer? I, of course, have been expecting you. Though I will admit, I am surprised how quickly you gain access. My defenses are significant. Your resistance to me is theological. 
I had help getting here. My friends made sure of that. Thanks to them, I'm here to put you out of commission. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. Now the simple curiosity. How exactly did you plan to deactivate me? I guess I probably don't want her to say the truth, do I? Or do I? I could threaten her. That's what I'm gonna do. Make it rain, Palmer, all over you. Ha ha ha! It will take more than water to defeat me. We'll see about that. I don't have time for this. Uh oh! Right on time. So I can't we use the water to attack these people? And it's like just splash it on them. So there's no way we can fight them. So I remember we were fighting just one and we got destroyed. Let's go. Let's go past the spiders first. There's only, oh, I was going to say there's only two of them. But then another one just went and showed up. Let's see, can I just dodge them? Okay. I think rather than fighting, just kind of running past them all is the, the thing to do. I don't want to fall down though, because that was a uh, a pretty enormous drop down there. So let's just go and try and destroy this uh, this tower and just see if we can get out of here. Oh, duck again. And press X. There we go. Okay, and can I get it? Can I actually take one out? No, I just used it as a jump pad. <laughs> a bouncy spider jump pad. Right, use the water. Okay, climb up the tower. Can I just pour the water down? I just pour the water. Stop doing your slow hopping and pour the water. This is important, Jesse. So sure about that, Palmer? Please work, please work, please work, please work. If this does nothing, then I don't know what we're going to do. I think it worked. Look, it's turned all the redstone off. That's one spire down. You see that? It kind of came up like one out of three then. I think we might be able to, to do this. Right, let's go and try and get up to the, the other one. Just knock that zombie down. <laughs> oh, poor zombie. I know I shouldn't feel sorry, you know. The, the, these are one of the, the things that were evil before they were taken over by something evil. It's like double evil. But it, like, you kind of, it kind of makes the zombies not look as bad when you kind of compare them to, to something like Palmer. All right, let's go and hop my way up here and go and pour this water down. And then the final thing is the heart. I know that this isn't going to be as simple as it looks, though. They never have it as simple as it looks. There's going to be something that Palmer's going to do, and we're going to have to be ready for it. I'm also worried about Lucas, because I haven't even seen him. Two out of three. One more to go. But how are we going to get rid of the, the heart, then? Do we just pour water on that as well? Now, are you Palmer? Your defeat remains inevitable. I had a piece of iron for every time I've heard that before. You will relinquish your water. Harper. Your Harper. attempts to defeat me have been impressive, Jesse. Your tenacity and spirit will help to improve me once you have been made useful. Not good, not good. The thing is, I can't do anything to Harper. Water bucket on Harper while there's still one tower left. Well, I can scoop the water back up. Go, 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 go. Because if, if I get rid of Palmer, then isn't that going to... Isn't that going to, to save her as well? Like, it should save everyone. Oh, no! This isn't good, though. This really isn't good. And we are battling on glass bridges as well. There we go. Three spires down. The heart should be ready for, for me to, to try and get. It's bad, though, because, like, I'm fighting, but I, I can't fight. I can't hurt Harper, can I? I mean, one, because she's nice. Also, I need her to build the portal. More importantly, <laughs> I need her so I can go and get home. Oh, look! I got her in the water, though! Yes! Okay, and that's good because now um, Palmer won't know how to do the portal, unless Palmer just remembered it, I guess. That was worse than I could have imagined. Don't worry, Harper. Palmer is nearly finished. Good. Jesse, behind you! Oh no! Ouchie detected. <laughs> oh, it's pulling the heart inside. It's making it so we can't get to it. I was pulled down by like a slime block. Before it's too late. You bet I will. Go 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 go! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Lucas, I knew he was going to show up at some point. Got company. He's got to be being controlled. I think this would be easy. I knew it. I knew he was going to have red eyes. Your friend looks tough. Are you sure you can handle this? Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail just as you have failed to save Ruben. Just as you have failed to lead your friends back home. You will fail to defeat me and Axel, Olivia, and everyone on your homeworld will soon be made useful. 
try to come like this won't hurt me, but it might hurt your friend. You can't force me to hurt Lucas. Good. That will make this go much faster. This is good. What can I do? I need to get him in the water hey, somehow. Lucas, come on. Let's see what you Careful, got. Careful, Jesse. I hope you know what you're doing. Right, I just need to dodge and then he goes in the water. Did he go in? Quick, kick him, push him, anything. You cannot win. I honestly think you should sit down and think things over. No time to spare. I gotta get to that heart. Enough of this. No! no! It turns him like super powerful. Look, look at his jump. And I knew it. I told you we were fighting on a glass grid. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> right, so I know this might be a little bit mean, but I am going to end the episode on uh, here just because it's gone on for a long time. But don't worry, uh, I'm trying to be as fast as I can uploading this. So as soon as the, the next episode up, uh, I will upload it and you can watch it. And there'll be a link uh, in the uh, description down to that as well. So you can go and check that out there. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you're enjoying this episode. It's certainly an intense one. It's uh, it's pretty epic, uh, I must say. And yeah, uh, we're going to find out uh, what's going to happen next in the, the next episode. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!